Hockey 101, sponsored by Seatown Electric Plumbing, Heating, and Air. The Kraken wrapping up a road trip as they take on the Boston Bruins this afternoon. And this morning, we continue Hockey 101 with a controversial aspect of the game, talking about fighting. And some fans wonder why the players drop the gloves and fight and why the refs allow it. Well, it's been part of the pro game for a century. And there are some interesting and valid reasons why. Why do we fight in hockey? Well, it's a great question. Brashear. I think it was Brashear. It might have been Brashear. And few understand the answer better than Jamie Huscroft, who spent a decade in the NHL as an enforcer. Every night it's going into war. It is a battle on the ice, and the combatants are carrying weapons. So instead of using that weapon and risk criminal charges, players will drop the gloves and duke it out. And there's going to be times where you just, you know, um, you just get uh, someone gets the best of you or does something that they really shouldn't or you perceive that they shouldn't. And you're like, you know what? Enough. Brennan has a size advantage here, but high marks to Vince Dunn for dropping the mitts. It's about more than just settling scores. Sometimes a fight can give your team an advantage by changing the momentum of the game. You know, there was there was different points of this game. You know, where we get down by one. I thought, uh, you know, and, you know, Dunner uh, gets in a you know a great scrap. You know, big hit, great scrap. Um, you know, that ends up turning the game uh, for us. Wilson Luke was looking for somebody. Ovechkin with a cross check on Lemieux. Wilson runs into him, and Lemieux wants to drop the gloves, and Tom Wilson accepts the invite. There's often a place and a time for a fight, a code, as they say, like late in a lopsided game where taking a penalty won't injure your team as much. It has to be a fair fight, right? They're, they're men of character, right? They're going to face each other one-on-one, -on -one, and then when we both agree to it. And speaking of injuries, it hurts. Ooh, he Huscroft caught him. caught him with a left he upper. Didn't know it. Back in Huscroft's day, every team had enforcers, guys like him that were on the roster to protect their scorers. A cheap shot against a star player would bring swift punishment. There'd be nights you'd get seriously hurt, and uh, or you'd seriously want to hurt somebody, and it's, it's just not healthy. Which is why the NHL has largely cleaned up the game over the past decade. Fighting isn't as common, and the equipment has something to do with it. And nowadays, it's these guys uh, have visors on, and so it's you, if you win, you you lose, and if you lose, you lose. Because if if I win the fight and hit you six times in the helmet, well, who's going to lose? Me <laughs> and my hand, right? So they both throw with their right. The whole idea is to grab first. But for the most part, it's going to be more like this. You're going to, I let me try to, I'm going to go with my right, and you're going to go with your right there, right? You're going to try okay. to hit me, and I'm going to stop, right? And we're going to try to get those right hands free, or even sometimes your left, right? So if I come across, you have to let this hand go. Okay. Now we're going to go left to left. Oh, God. Right? I'm in deep trouble. Yeah, and that's <laughs> when guys get knocked out. And now Greenway goes down, and the TKO goes to number 25, wearing white. Without a doubt. Wow. And you can find all of our Hockey 101 stories at fox13seattle.com. We're right back with more after this.